Hello. <laughs> That's too close. We don't. Hi, I'm Ash with from Bedroom to Banger, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you this really cool trick that Elenium uses in his songs. And as a certified sad boy, I have the authority to speak on this topic. So let's show you what we've got. Step one. Elenium songs tend to range between 150 to 180 BPM. 90 or 80 BPM if you want to write in half time. So we're going to set it today to 155. And we're going to pick a chord progression. This one is a chord progression in D major. Very emotional. And I'm gonna actually put that on a super saw for our drop. Cool. If you wanna know how to make chords like that, check out this video. It's got the exact same principles that I used to make these chords in that video, so I don't have to go through it here. But watch this one first, because you know, you keep the view time up. And when you're in this stage, a little arranging goes a long way. So what I actually like to do is even just drag in a build up to like get yourself in the mood. Then you can get ideas for drops as it goes. Okay. And like you kind of want to think in your head, oh, what could potentially go there? So what Elenium likes to do is he likes to use vocals to make the drops. I can't afford splice. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sing it myself. Perfect. Because the trick is to find a vocal riff with no lyrics. Oohs or ahs, that type of thing. And then we start chopping. So I like to go through the vocal sample. Until you get a melody. So it's like you're singing about sadness. But we don't have the words for it. My emotion! So deep. After a bit of arranging. And you can go in with Ableton. Make sure you're setting it to Complex Pro and playing around with the formants. Next, I just add a bit of effects, especially reverb. I recommend Little Plate, not sponsored. Some frequency shifter, redux, a little bit of auto pan for movement. And that's it. No, no, this still sounds empty. Okay, hang on, we need drums. You want to try and find drums with a big reverby snare. That's the that's the trick. And then you want to do the clap trick where you put it right before the snare so you get. The... <laughs> and that's it. No, not done yet. We need a bass line. That's right. Luckily, we have this fantastic chord progression that we wrote for a quick bass line. I'm just gonna take the bottom notes, copy, and paste it on. Thanks, chord progression. That's why you're the only one I spend so much time with. Now, this is sounding all right, but if we want to really elenium this up, we're gonna have to use <gasps> real instruments. I'm just kidding, that's totally a MIDI guitar. Check out this plugin as well, this one's free too. So we have that, that's it. No? It's still sounding empty or something's missing. And this is what separates a lot of the newer producers from professional ones, so pay attention. Let me show you how to fatten this up. And the best way to do that is, boom, sidechain. I have in my template a group so that it collects all the instruments together in one place and I can put one sidechain compressor and then if I want to add more then you can do that on other things. And you set the audio, kick snare. I like to use a 420 ratio, nice. And then you just bring the threshold down because we want to be able to hear those drums come in through thick and clear. Finally, proper cymbal placement, especially at the beginning of each phrase, will give it energy, any kind of energy. Sad energy, cry with me. Oh yeah, don't forget the sub. And after that, we just add little touches. You can take this a step further and plant carefully crafted sounds into the song that the listeners hear, but subconsciously work their way into the listener. AKA, 
I've dragged in an atmosphere and tried to just find big long ones you can pop underneath. So this one says E, but I've transposed it up to the correct key that we used. Now, the most subconscious earception I'm gonna show you right now. You gotta place this right when the drop hits. That crowd sample. It's kind of like when you have those laugh tracks when you make a really good joke like Bazinga. And you know, the, the show tells you to laugh. It's kind of like that, but, but more subtle. What's the deal with that? And then while you have that buildup, might as well bring a few of the elements in there. Oop. Throw an auto filter in there. Maybe a bit of this guitar. And that's it. Now you can be a certified sad boy and or sad girl. Thank you so much for watching. I want to shout out all of my patrons right here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you like what I'm doing, feel free to support the channel on Patreon and check out all the goodies that I have on there. I've got stream VODs, I've got samples, project files. You can get this project file on Patreon right now. But if free is more your style, you can always like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. It really, really helps me out. Helps out with the algorithm. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'm seeing all your DMs. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out, go make some sad songs.